Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be recreating a look that was drawn for me by one of my subscribers. Now this was a trend that was actually really, really big last year, but unfortunately I missed out on it. It seems to be making a comeback. I'm seeing loads of people do it. I've seen Art Beauty Chaos on Instagram doing it. Um, Soph from Soph Does Life just did a video and I think she mentioned in there that she'd seen James Charles do it. It. And literally as I was doing my foundation and getting ready to film this video I saw that Robert Welsh had also posted a video doing it So I decided to get involved with the trend this year and I posted this picture to my Instagram I know it's a pretty rubbish picture I'm really bad at taking close-up photos of my eye with my phone But I posted that to my Instagram stories and just asked people to draw a look If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram by the way It is linked down below in my description box and I will probably do another round of these at some point So if you want to get involved do make sure that you give me a follow over there. So for today's look, I have picked this submission by Trish and oh my God, guys, can we appreciate the work she has put into this? Like she's even made it look glittery and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do this look justice. So I'm just gonna go and prime my eyes with my PDB's base. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're just gonna see how well I do and if I can do this look justice. All right, guys, so my eyes are now primed with my PDB's base and for my palette, I think that the perfect one for this look is gonna be the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde because it's super, super pretty. I really want to get those like really nice glitters that Trish captured in the drawing. It helps if I actually bring up the drawing on my phone before starting to film, but I'm just not organized enough for that. She's gone for very, very light shades in the crease. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Karma on a Zoeva 231. And I have to say, I love how she's placed that cut crease right in my crease. And if I had the eyelids to do that, that is exactly what I would do. But my brow bone droops down too much, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna have to adapt that slightly. And I think we're gonna make that really, really rounded today. I do like that nice round shape with a winged liner. And I'm going in really lightly with it. I'm not trying to pack it on too much. It's just like a very discreet crease that she's got in her drawing. And then just always kind of looping back down under into the lower lash line, just to help me get that nice round shape. And I'm also gonna pop some just on the outer corner. Next I'm going to take the shade Crash and I'm using a Morphe M433 and I want to soften that out and just blend it. She's just made it look like such a soft and delicate blend. So that's just what I'm trying to go for here. And again just looping back underneath, just blending really softly. And then I'm going to take the shade Momentum on a nice big blending brush. This is a Morphe M441. And I'm going to use that to really finish diffusing that. Just really giving me that nice soft blend that she's got in her drawing. I do think this palette is really great for these really soft looks, especially if you're as pale as me. It's just kind of barely there, so I do think it's a good everyday palette, just a bit of an expensive one. But for me, that's what these uh, matte shades are quite nice for. Okay, I don't feel the need to go back over those shades. They're really soft, you know, I don't feel the need to deepen them up. But what I am gonna do is just quickly take them on the lower lash lines, just from darkest to lightest. Even though it looks like she's only got the liner on the lower lash line, I just kind of want to give it a bit of a base. And I'm gonna stop right at the tear duct, not go any further. Okay, great, so the next step is to move on into a nice sparkly cut crease. So I'm just gonna go in with my Jouer concealer first to define the shape of the cut crease. So I just trace it on with my eye open and I'm gonna be going all the way, which I don't normally do, but that's what she's gone for. So let's try it out. I am really struggling with this shape. I've really messed up at the front as well. I'm gonna have to find a way to fix that. I'm gonna try a smaller brush, it might help. Ooh, 
Okay, right, I think I've managed. I haven't quite taken it all the way, but almost. I think I am just gonna blend it into the shadow a little bit here. So now I'm just gonna clean that up with micellar water. <laughs> this concealer is super thick, so this may not have been the best idea. But hey, you just don't find out until you try, do you? I'm just gonna fill that in using my Micro Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow primer. And then I'm just gonna take a bit more of Karma and blend out that edge down here. Okay, so I think the perfect lid shade for this is gonna be Galaxy, which is super, super pretty. So before I go in with that, I'm just gonna start with some NYX glitter primer all over the lid. So just on top of that eyeshadow primer. Oh, I've gone in with way too much. I'm gonna pat it out. I just really want the glitter to pop as much as possible. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade Galaxy on a Zoeva 231. And guys, I've actually hit pan on this eyeshadow, which is not something that happens to me very often. This is very, very sad. And then just to make it more glittery, I'm just gonna take Super Moon with the same brush and just pop that on top. And as you can see, it's pretty chunky, so be careful with that. And I'm also gonna use Super Moon on the inner corner, so I'm gonna pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then pop Super Moon on top. All right, so next up is the liner details, but I think before doing that, I am just gonna finish off the rest of the face. I'm gonna go into my makeup obsession, a Pinky Promise palette. I used to use this all the time, but I feel like I haven't all that much lately. I'm just gonna take the shade Whisper, just on this big iconic London brush, and just pop that on. I do have a liquid blush underneath as well, but I just wanna deepen it up a bit. Oh, whoops, okay, that is... God, okay. I'm just gonna take some of my concealer back over that to uh, calm things down. Yeah, I didn't need that much blush. That was a little bit extreme. <laughs> and then for my highlighter, I'm gonna use this one from My Heart Revolution. It's the Chocolate Elixir Glow. I quite fancy something pink still and something glittery to tie it back into the eyes. So I'm just using both shades. I think the theme of today's makeup might just be skin texture. It's not looking super good right now. <laughs> one of those times right now where I feel like I look like a human cupcake because I've got way too much blush on. Oh wow. Okay, so let's move on to these liner details. I'm just trying to pick out which colors I need. So I'm definitely gonna use polka dot, I think. Um, and then orchid. And there's two purples, like a more kind of pinky purpley one, I guess, and a more bluey one. I might try blue ocean and mixing it in with orchid. I've never really tried mixing in these liners, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're just gonna try it. I'm gonna start with the cut crease itself, so that's gonna be polka dot on a nice small liner brush. Let's see. Okay, I think that's actually not too bad. I think I've changed my mind for the liners. I think I'm gonna do Orchid first and then I'm gonna be mixing in Orchid and Polka Dot. We're, we're just gonna see how that goes. So now I'm taking Orchid and we're gonna draw on a wing. I'm just gonna thicken it slightly. Right, so now for the tricky part. I've mixed in those two shades together and we're gonna add that line just above. Ooh, yeah. 
Okay, I went way too thick on the inner corner, but that's fine. I can always just go back with the other colour. But that's not too bad. I maybe don't feel like it's created quite as much of a different shade as I would have hoped for. But it works. I'm just going to go back in with my previous brush and Orchid. Just to neaten the whole thing up. And now for tricky part number two, I now need to come underneath and wing it out underneath as well. That's really precise, but you'll see what I mean. So I need to get Orchid right in the lash line. I'm gonna connect it up to the wing. And when I say right in the lash line, apparently I mean in the lashes, literally. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Okay, it's a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. And then on the inside, extending it out. Oh, I've really messed up. It's like all in my creases. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up off camera. I think it will just be easier. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop the Beauty Bay eyeliner in the shade Aurora on my waterline. Right, we just have one final line of detail left now, which is the hardest one, I think. I mean, that lower lash line was pretty hard, but it's gonna be those little hearts. Um, I'm really bad at drawing hearts, basically. But let's, <laughs> let's see how it goes. All right, let's draw a big heart. Oh my God, that's probably actually one of the most successful hearts I've ever drawn in my entire life. I make it a bit neater, we make it worse in the process. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not gonna do it on the other side, I'm just doing it on this side. We're just gonna have a smaller heart. Okay, actually, that's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And then the last thing I need to do is add a gem just here. So I'm gonna start off with some lush glue. I'm gonna go for the smaller size. And that is it. All right, there we go. Not quite as sparkly as the original. Might just make it look a bit more sparkly when I'm editing the photo, but that is it for the look. I just need to pop on my lashes as always, do my brows and I'll do my lips off camera as well. And then we'll see how everything looks once it's all finished because I'm not feeling 100% sure about it right now but things always look better with lashes on. So I'm just gonna go and do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, here is the finished look. Let me know, what are we thinking? Did I do Trish's drawing justice? That's the most important thing here. I definitely like it better with the lashes on just because it's kind of counterbalancing all the pastels. I think because I just have such like gigantic eyeballs that when I just have pastels on the eyes, it's just like making them even bigger. It's just not a look, but now I've got the lashes on. I do like it a lot better, but I have to say, Trish, I think I do like your drawing a lot better than I like my attempt at reproducing it. I don't know, it just doesn't have the same cuteness factor. Like your drawing was just so, so, so good. And I feel like I haven't quite captured that, so I am sorry, but I do really, really hope that you like it. As I said earlier, guys, if you do wanna get involved the next time that I ask people to draw my makeup, do make sure that you're following me over on my Instagram, which is linked down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then do make sure that you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and if you haven't already then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'll see you all on the next one bye guys